What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I'm back with another video. Um, what? Back with another video. Um, I, I had problems, issues uploading the video. I don't know what the hell happened with the movie maker, so I'm over here on my laptop. But listen here. Um, and this is the video I did want to do. Sorry for the beeping. That's my modem. I mean, my power pack for my Verizon files. Um, it's sad to say that it's now it's getting pathetic because soon as they said that Ubisoft said that they're holding back, they're holding back. I'm sorry. Uh, they keep, I'm sorry. They're keeping the game to 900 people for for parity because just stop with the whole resolution game thing. Um, and right away, you guys thought it was the Xbox One version here and the PlayStation 4 version. If you know anything about Ubisoft Next Generation Engine, the Unity Engine, that is, it relies heavily on the CPU. It's CPU heavy. And if you know anything, again, that the Xbox One has, I, I believe, it is, not even I believe, but the Xbox One CPU is three times, has three times the performance of the PlayStation 4 version, um, of their CPU. Um, the PS4 has, has an 8 core Jaguar processor, 1.6 gigahertz. That's one thread per core, two ops per thread, for a total of 16 ops. This is according to Sony. Microsoft's Xbox One has 48 ops. Okay? And, 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 I mean, again, you know, it also says here, pointing to all the above specs of the Xbox One CPU will have the three times performance of the PS4 CPU. 16 ops. 48 out, 16, 32, 48. So if anything, the PlayStation 4 version held back the Xbox One version. And on top of that, you have this GDDR5 RAM, which I've been saying for ages. GDDR5 is great for your GPU, but it slows down your CPU. So here it is, Sony has already has a slow CPU. Then on top of that with the GDDR5, and you get bottlenecks. And again, check it out. I'm not saying that Microsoft has this world be their CPU because they don't, but their CPU is more efficient than Sony's. It's, I mean, numbers don't lie. But, in, and you, you guys talk about Microsoft paid off Sony for parity. If anything, Microsoft, if that was the case, they have been with have paid off third party developers when they've been no such thing as no resolution game. It had been, you need phone? Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be no such thing as a resolution game. Um, you know what I mean? So, again, that doesn't make any sense. If anything, Xbox fans should be jumping up and screaming about the parity issue because of these, the online service, because Microsoft gives third-party developers, give them dedicated servers. But being that Sony doesn't have any, we're forced with these shitty, you know, these shitty, you know, online problems, which wouldn't be, we wouldn't have the problem, example, 2K service crash and all these down, all that peer-to-peer -peer dog shit, where here's Microsoft gives developers free Dedicated server. Being that Sony doesn't have it, we're forced with the dumb shit. Promise and with the crew. That's supposed to be a, a multi MMO type racing game, but it's running on, on fucking peer to peer. That game would have been great for a Microsoft dedicated servers. You understand what I'm saying? So, all that shit that Microsoft has invented with Ubisoft is, is stupid. Now, again, after CD Gobs are complaining because you wasn't getting the game, they come out their own mouth and said, hey, the game looks great. On both console, it has nothing to do with their GPU. But you see all these people on the streets and different costumes and stuff on that would come as a, you know, there's more focus on the CPU. Prime example, look at Dead, uh, Dead Rising 3. I'm not saying the game was that, you know, basically graphically, but you see all those zombies on the screen at one time, all with just in different stuff. They're not all the same zombies, they're all different zombies. You know what I mean? Like I said, the, the Xbox One has a custom architect. You know what I mean? Like I said, next, especially next year, you're going to start seeing the things, especially what the Xbox wanted to do. But you see, I did not want Xbox fans up and down and talk about being that the, the Xbox One has a more powerful CPU and that the PS4 was keeping it back. No! Set the resolution on and save that shit for the PC dudes, man. Like, you guys sound crazy. Now, you imagine this shit store that would have been, you motherfuckers would cut your wrist if the P the Xbox version would have been 1080p and the PS4 would have been 900p. They're telling you it has nothing to do with the GPU. It's because of the CPU. Forget, like, you know what I mean? Again, Sony should have 16 o OPS, no, I mean, OPS. Microsoft's is 48. Now, I'm going to link. You guys can read it for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you know, 
the way Ubisoft's engine, their next generation engine, that they use relies heavily on the CPU. Like, I don't know what more the fuck to turn. And again, and, and, uh, go back and check my history. You're not going to see my face and victory. We all know, that, but you know, we all don't know. Yes, Sony has GDDR, fam. It, it does wonders for your GPU, but it's not good for your CPU. That's what you have bottlenecks. So, I'm, I'm just saying, so, you know, you motherfuckers are whatever crying foul and talking about you might need your guys, you shouldn't be held back because of the Xbox One. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't. They're telling you that this engine uses the CPU. Here is Microsoft has a stronger CPU with three times the performance of the places for CPU. I'm just saying, man. Y'all you really starting to embarrass yourself, man. Y'all really are, man. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't even going to do this video, but you dumb motherfuckers asked for it, man.